Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. This Friday we're at the Guyon Crag for the gear show and that's because all this week we're celebrating the incredible sport climbing gear deals on at the Epic TV shop. Now this week we're going to be looking at an issue that's very important to a lot of you guys, etiquette when outdoor climbing. While there are many similarities between an indoor climbing wall and an outside crag, there are a few things you need to remember in order to protect the environment, the rock and avoid doing anything to annoy people around you. First things first when climbing, and that's parking. Sometimes a crag or an area will have a designated parking place. If so, make sure you use it and pay any parking fees required. This money often goes back into preserving and maintaining the area and will go to the right people. Avoid blocking the road and remember that cars parked in the wrong place will annoy locals and possibly put access rights at risk. Leaving litter at a climbing location or anywhere outside is never okay. Make sure you carry any litter out with you and be sure that wrappers don't blow away. Make sure you leave that climbing area in the same or better state than when you arrived. Often the indoor wall can be a fairly noisy place. Somewhere to hang out, meet old and new friends and possibly blow some steam off after work. Even if the crag is deserted, music can echo around the area. And even if you can't see people, they might hear you. No loud send music, please. Keep dogs on a leash, even if your dog is a saint. Some people don't like dogs, so keeping your dog nearby is a good idea. Try to keep your gear neatly in one place. It's really tempting and it's something we've all done to spread your bags and stuff around the base of a route. Keep everything in one neat place and that's the best bet. Okay, it's climbing time. In an indoor climbing wall, there's often dedicated top ropes set up. Outside, this isn't the case. Top roping is okay at the crag, but there are a few things to remember. Don't just put the top rope on a warm-up route or popular route and leave it there all day. People outside are mainly lead climbing and it's annoying to have a rope always on the thing you're trying to lead. Look, you have to play this by ear. If there's lots of people at the crag, then take the ropes down. If it's empty, well, you can do what you want. Read the crag atmosphere and behave appropriately. On the subject of top ropes, try to use your own carabiners at the top of routes and not the mayons, bolts or lower off carabiners for top roping. Top roping eventually wears grooves into fixed gear and this can be dangerous as it weakens the gear and small burrs can cut your rope. Also, that damaged gear will need to be replaced. Someone has to pay for it, so respect the people who have created the area you're climbing in. Shouting beta at people climbing is often more frowned upon outside than inside. People are trying to work a route, perhaps on site something, or just enjoy the process of working out the moves. Right, put your left hand where your right hand is, but hold it like back three, yeah? No, different crimp. Secret hole coming up. Yeah, Egyptian it. They'll turn the foot. Yeah, the crack, just use it in the crack, yeah? Just like, yeah, like. If people want beta, they usually ask, or you can ask them if they want it.
Chalk use should be moderated when climbing outside. Inside, the holds are regularly cleaned and the area hoovered up. Overuse of chalk at the crag can look ugly on the rock. Be sparing with the chalk. You'd be surprised how often chalking up becomes a habit rather than a necessity. Avoid putting tick marks all over the rock, and if you have to use them, make sure you remove them when you leave. It's the same as beta spraying. People don't always want to know about the secrets of a route. When discussing etiquette at the crag, there's a lot to cover, but what we tried to do is give a balanced approach and take some of the things that you guys said was important when we asked you on Instagram. There's loads more you can read into this and research, and I've linked a couple of resources down below so you can check it out. As always, we wanna hear your opinion. Comment down below and let us know the kind of behavior and etiquette that you wanna see when climbing outdoors. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.